channel. Today's video, I'm going to be doing sort of like a get ready with me, but I'm also going to be testing out a few products that I've recently purchased over this week. I kind of went on like a massive spending spree on makeup, so I kind of wanted to just test it all out today. The last product that I ordered arrived like an hour ago, and I was waiting for that product to arrive to actually film this video. So I'm really, really happy that it actually came because I was nervous that it wasn't going to come at all. But I bought like quite a few products um over the like past week i'll kind of haul them for you right now before i get into like the makeup sort of get ready with me but i kind of just wanted to film sort of like a chatty makeup tutorial ish thing but kind of just like a get ready with so me. the first things that i bought were three eyeshadows i really really wanted makeup geek eyeshadows for so long and i bought these three eyeshadows from makeup geek i bought the shade coco bear bitten and creme brulee and these three shades are so gorgeous and makeup geek eyeshadows are so amazing i decided on these three colors just because they're really neutral they're good for every day and i heard some really really good things about these three shades they were four pound 95 i think each from beauty bay and it's like one pound 95 shipping so in total i paid for these like 14 15 pounds which is so so good i also got some eyelashes because i have finally mastered applying eyelashes so i decided to get some these are actually off depop on a little shop there um the shop i will link in the description below because they have some amazing products on there they have eyelashes like sunglasses it's a really really cute shop and i decided to pick these up just because how beautiful they were and how cheap they were these were £5.80, including postage, and I just think they are so pretty. Like, you get five pairs in here, and they are very, very similar to the Ardell Demi Wispies, or the Wispy Lashes, and I've always wanted a pair of them, but they're so expensive for just one pair, so I decided to pick these up to try them out. So I'm really, really excited to try these. I've got three MAC products. Um, the first product I picked up was the MAC Lipstick in Yash. If you don't know who Looking For Lewis is, um, he always talks about the lipstick in his videos so I decided to go with Yash just because he said that it was better than Honey Love and Velvet Teddy and it was just so natural so I decided to pick it up and it's so pretty and I really really enjoy it so I'm going to be using that today. I also picked up a MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Painterly. Again, heard so many good things about this paint pot for a eye primer, so I decided to pick it up because I don't actually own an eye primer. I normally use concealer, so I decided to pick this up just because everyone always talks about how good MAC paint pots are for primers, especially the Painterly and Soft Ochre one. Uh, this was £16 off the MAC website and I forgot to mention that the lipstick is £15.50 from the MAC website. The last product um, which actually arrived today, this is the product that I was waiting to film this video for. <sighs> I've wanted this product for so so long but I haven't picked up the courage to buy this just because it's so expensive. I picked up the MAC Fix Plus um, and I actually searched like all the sites for this because it's very very rare like on the MAC website it always so sold out so I couldn't get it on the MAC website. I then looked on Debenhams they don't sell it anymore. I looked on loads of other websites I can't remember exactly which ones I looked at. Then I came across House of Fraser and I found it on there with only like three pound um, shipping so I decided to pick up. This is only 17 pounds which is quite expensive for like a makeup setting spray but I've heard so many th good things about this and you can use it for so many things so I decided to pick up I'm really really excited to use I'm gonna get straight into the makeup now just because I feel like I've talked quite a lot about those products but I've already like kind of prepped my skin I'm actually going to use the Mac fix plus to actually hydrate my skin oh it smells so good oh my god and then I'm going to move on to primer I'm using the Maybelline baby skin aura raising primer I'm now going to move on to foundation. This is the MAC Studio Fix Foundation in NC15. And I'm just going to be applying this with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I know, I need to clean my brushes. I have planned to do it this weekend, which I really, really need to do because literally my brushes are so disgusting at the moment. So I'm just going to apply, apply that to the face first using my finger. And then just blending it in using the Expert Face Brush. So 
foundation is done. I'm now going to cover up my spots using the Rimmel London Wake Me Up Concealer. And I'm just going to put this on all my spots because I'm actually breaking out quite badly at the minute. Um, I'm having to use so much concealer lately just because my spots are just not going away. I have the worst skin ever, it's so annoying. I'm now going to use a little Lorac Kabuki brush just to blend that concealer in, uh, just passing it just because I don't want to move it around else it won't cover. I'm now going to do my eyebrows, I'll finish the rest of my face makeup after I've done my eyes but I'm going to be using my Anastasia Dip Brow in Ash Brown and I'm just going to be doing my eyebrows using the Duo Eyebrow Brush. And oh my god, the other day I hit pan on this, well, the bottom I can see through it. <laughs> so sad when you hit pan on your favourite I'm product. going to now use my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly and just going to apply this as a primer for my eyeshadow. I am going to apply a transition colour and I'm going to be using my Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Creme Brulee. No, I have, they're still in the packaging just because I haven't picked up a Z palette yet. That is my next um, thing on the, my shopping list. But I'm going to be using the shade Creme Brulee as my transition colour. And I'm going to take that and a fluffy brush. This is the Duo eyeshadow brush and this is going to act as the transition colour so when we Apply these darker shades, they will blend really nicely together. Now I am going to apply the shade Cocoa Bear into the crease. And this is just going to deepen it and define it just a little bit. I love, love, love this shade. It's so, such a pretty brown shade just for like a crease colour. I'm actually going to bring the Cocoa Bear shade um, onto the lower lash line using this pencil brush because I really want to smoke out that bottom lash line. Now I'm going to bring out the shade Bitten. And this is a really sort of pretty burgundy shade. And I'm going to apply this using this thicker fluffier pen pencil brush. I'm just going to apply this to like the outer corner of the eye. do the lashes I'm going to grab my Makeup Revolution Iconic One palette and I'm going to grab just this shimmery sort of brown shade uh, this is the duo concealer brush I use this as an eyeshadow brush all the time though just because I prefer it I'm gonna spray it with my max fix plus I'm just applying it to the inner corner of the eye because I don't want to bring this too far in using these lashes here and duo lash glue I know it's black <laughs> I hate the black one but I accidentally picked this up instead of the clear one which is really really annoying get my professional little tool out which I got with some eyelid lashes and this is really really handy by the way it's just this like little handle thing for to hold the lashes with um, I'm actually going to just prep my eyelashes quickly multitasking right now i'm holding some wet lashes and also curling them i had some like proper difficulties trying to get these lashes on because like the inner corners just won't stick and i've had to apply eyeliner just to kind of make it look a little bit better. I think I have like finally sorted it out and they do look pretty nice now. Carrying on with the makeup, I'm going to use a 
White Cult Eyeliner by Rimmel London. And I'm going to be applying this to the waterline of my eye. And then we can do the lower mascara. Okay, so I think that is the eyes complete. And then we can move on to the rest of the face makeup. So I'm going to start off with concealer. I've simply just applied that all over the face and then I'm going to blend it in with the same kabuki that I blended the concealer in with. I'm then going to set the face using the Maybelline The Matte Maker Powder. And then we can do bronzer and highlighter. I'm using the Sleek Face Contour Kit and I'm going to be using the contour shade on a fan brush. And I'm just going to feather this into the hairline, my sort of the hollows of my cheeks and also under the jawline. Now I'm going to apply my highlighter. I absolutely love this because I love the shimmer in it. This is the MUA Highlight Shimmer and this is their Lux London collection. But I'm just going to apply this to the high parts of my face so it brings them forward. And they're going to pat that in place using my Real Techniques pointed foundation brush. And now for the final thing is the lipstick. I'm using the MAC matte lipstick in Yash. Final step, I'm going to set all my makeup in place using the MAC Fix Plus. Okay, so that is the end of the video. I really, really hope you enjoyed this kind of concept of a video. I am so, so happy with all the products I have purchased and I think they are really, really great. I did have a lot of struggle um, applying these eyelashes. They don't look amazing just because the inner corners just won't stick down. I tried for so so long just trying to stick them down but they just won't i really really do like the eyeshadow and i do like the lashes they are so so beautiful so hopefully i will be able to properly stick them down next time i do really hope you enjoy this video because i really liked doing it because i can just chat to you guys sort of film me doing my makeup which is really really fun other than that um don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you do like my video if you like the video then don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up because that it always shows your appreciation anyway i'll see you guys in my next video bye started youtube i have interacted with people from different countries and that is like the best thing about youtube it just is a massive community and you just meet so many new people as well as like i just i'm so